दोस्तों मैं रोहित कुमार एबनीशो की ओर से आपका स्वागत करता हूं स्टार्टिंग विद द हिस्टोरिकल स्कूल ऑफ जूर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ दो जूरिस्ट हु आर द एक्सपोनेंट्स और हु आर द प्रोपाउंडर्स ऑफ द हिस्ट historical school of jewish students they take social institutions in their sequence with primacy to primitive legal institutions of the society now my question to you is which are the social institutions can you answer me this question hamare society mein social institutions kya hai kon kon se hai family religious uh, organizations organizations nahi bolte usko religion religion itself is an institution family yes family is an institution religion is an institution caste is an institution these are social institutions and we are talking about social institution or social institutions bataiye marriage is a so, is a social institution or or koi social institutions batayenge so caste helps and ngos be social re no yaar self help group ngos they are created things they are non governmental organizations wo social institutions nahi hai na we are talking about social institution they are funded things hame hum funded things nahi lenge yahan pe sir kinship hoti hai kinship ko halaki wo ek relation hota hai usko social institution nahi mante sir so and they give primacy to the primitive legal institutions primitive legal institutions kya hai sir purane zamane ke legal institutions aaj ke nahi purane zamane ke purane zamane mein bhi nyayalay hote the hai na gram panchayat hoti thi nyay panchayat hoti thi so these are primitive legal institutions hai na thus the historical school does not attach importance to relation of law to the state तो ये लोग ये नहीं मानते कि लॉ का रिलेशन सीधा सीधा स्टेट से है और लॉ इसीलिए है क्योंकि स्टेट वांट्स टू इन्फोर्स द लॉ थ्रू द फियर ऑफ सैंक्शन ये इनका व्यू नहीं है बट हिस्टोरिकल स्कूल गिव्स प्राइमसी टू द सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशंस इन विच द लॉ डेवलप्स इट्स वो ये कहते हैं कि सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन एक ऐसी चीज है जहाँ पे कि लॉ अपने आप डेवलप होता है कानून अपने आप डेवलप होता है इसका एग्जांपल मैं देता हूँ हमारी जो वर्ण व्यवस्था थी वर्ण व्यवस्था वॉज अ सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक आर्य ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य क्षुद्र ये वर्ण व्यवस्था थी ना कौन से वर्ण के लोगों ने कौन से काम करने हैं और उसका उसको समाज में क्या स्थान मिलेगा ये कैसे डिसाइड होता था ये डिसाइड होता था सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन में और लॉज भी जो बनते थे वो उसी अकॉर्डिंग बनते थे while the school of analytical positivism presupposes the existence of well developed legal system dekhiye analytical positivism mein law ko follow karne ke liye ek well developed legal system ki zarurat hoti hai lekin historical school concentrates on evolution of law from the primitive legal institutions of the ancient communities to law ka origin kahan se hota hai according to the historical school law originate from the primitive legal institutions of the ancient time to ye unki actual theory hai lekin wo existence mein aata kaisa hai law existence mein aata kaisa hai kaisa hai to wo logo ki custom se aata hai unke culture se unke tradition se ye puri theory hum understand karne ki koshish karenge when we will discuss kalvan sevignis theory main jaldi se kalvan sevigni ka aapko introduction de deta hu karl von k a r l v o n सेविग्नी एस ए वी आई जी एन वाई इनका पीरियड नोट कर लीजिए सेवनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन टू एटीन सिक्सटी वन सो सेविग्नी वॉज अ मेन एक्सपोनेंट ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ लॉ एंडोरिकल स्कूल ऑफ जो ये कहता है कि लॉ एक एवोल्यूशनरी प्रोसेस है धीरे 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 समाज में कम्युनिटी में वो डेवलप होता जाता है तो लॉ इज इज एन एवोल्यूशनरी प्रोसेस एंड ही सेड दैट लॉ इज एन एवोल्यूशनरी प्रोसेस एंड ही सेड दैट मच बिफोर चार्ल्स डॉविन गेव हिज थ्योरी ऑफ एवोल्यूशन ऑफ मैनकाइंड इन द फील्ड ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल साइंस तो चार्ल्स डॉविन की जो थ्योरी है वो बायोलॉजिकल साइंस के फील्ड में आई हुई है 
और उन्होंने भी कहा कि मैनकाइंड का धीरे धीरे एवोल्यूशन होता है सो सेविग्नी सेट लॉ ऑल्सो इवॉल्व इन द कम्युनिटीज इट इवॉल्व इन द सोसाइटी स्लोली ग्रेजुअली Charles Darwin gave his theory in 1861, whereas Savigny died in 1861. So Savigny gave his theory of law as an evolutionary process even before Darwin gave his theory of evolution in 1861. And it is for this reason that a jurist known as Dr. Allen described Savigny as a Darwinian before Darwin because he made a very unique contribution to apply. the evolutionary process to the development of law and legal system sevigny's theory of law evoked very mixed reaction because this theory inspired people to struggle against foreign dominations on the one hand but on the other hand this theory encouraged fascism and nazism in italy and germany eventually that led to the disastrous world wars we which we have witnessed in 20th centuries inka pura naam tha fredrich karl von sevigny fredrich f r i e d r i c h fredrich karl von sevigny he was born at frankfurt which is in germany he born in 1779 he was educated in the university of marburg m a r b u r g marburg and gottingen तो दो यूनिवर्सिटीज में ये पढ़े मार्बर्ग एंड कॉटनिंगन जी ओ डबल टी आई एन जी ई एन ही वॉज अ प्रोफेसर ऑफ सिविल लॉ इन द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मार्बर्ग फ्रॉम एटीन जीरो वन टू एटीन जीरो फोर वेर ही स्टार्टेड इज हिस्टोरिकल जूरिस स्टूडेंट थ्रू द बुक दैट ही रोट लॉ ऑफ पोजिशन एंड आफ्टर दैट ही शिफ्टेड टू द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लैंड शर्ट आफ्टर दैट ही वॉज अपॉइंटेड as a professor in the newly formed university of berlin in 1810 1810 mein he was appointed as a professor of law in berlin university which was newly formed university at that time and there he worked until 1842 when he was appointed as a minister of justice in prussia germany ka pura naam prussia hota tha us samay mein and he retired from that post in 1848 he published various books first name i'd like to take is history of roman law that he published history of roman law in middle ages pura naam book ka hai history of roman law in middle ages this book was published in 1815 to 1831 1815 to 1831 kyunki ye kitab jo hai na wo six volumes mein hai so six volumes different different times pe inke published hue hain then he wrote system of modern roman law that he had published from 1840 to 1849 his work on law of position that is das recht des bestages das recht des bestages the law of position it was published in 1803 ye pehli book hai inki and it is said to be the starting point of sevigny's historical jurisprudence so he pursued his legal studies till 1861 when he died in berlin So Savigny firmly believed that all law is the manifestation of the common consciousness of the people. So law kaha se originate ho raha hai? Common consciousness of the people because law is a manifestation of the common consciousness of the people. It grows with the growth of the society. Law kanun grow karta hai jaise jaise society ki growth hoti jati hai. It strengthens with the strength of the people. Law strengthens also. How? it strengthens with the strength strength of the people or strength of the community and ultimately it dies away dekhiye mrityu sabki atal hai aapki meri sabki to kanun ki bhi mrityu atal hai law also dies away as the nation loses its nationality kanun ki mrityu kab hoti hai jab ek samaj disintegrate kar jata hai when the nation nation means community us samay nation nahi the nation states nahi the but we take it as community law dies away when the nation loses its nationality jab community is khatam ho jati hai jab community samuday has pe pahunch jate hain hashiye pe pahunch jate hain tab law also dies away first point that i want to make is this is of sevigny's theory the first point of sevigny's theory he says that the foxist foxist iska iska spelling aisa hai v o l k s G E I S T. Foxist is a source of law. What is Foxist? 
it is common consciousness or general spirit of the people please understand he is saying common consciousness he is not saying human reasoning common consciousness ab common consciousness kya hai wo kuch bhi ho sakta hai kai bar common consciousness majoritarian rule ki taraf bhi leke jata hai halaki us pe hum baad mein charcha karenge we will we'll talk about it later so fox is that is common consciousness or general spirit of the people he says is a source of law so the firm belief of sevigny is that law is a product of the general consciousness of the people and it is a manifestation of their spirit and therefore codification of german law is not desirable because if we codify the law the smooth development of german law will be hindered he said so at this time the common consciousness has not grown in germany and therefore we should not codify the german law because what codification does codification hinders the smooth development of law and because of his views eventually the codification of german law was delayed by at least 50 years in germany so germany ka jo law hai wo codify nahi ho paya it is because of the views of sevigny because sevigny was opposed to german laws codification because he believed that if you want to have a spontaneous growth of law then you cannot codify it because once you codify it becomes a static so if you want a smooth development of law you should not codify german law at this time let the law develop first according to sevigny a law made without taking into consideration the past historical culture and traditions of community is likely to create more confusion rather than solving any problem because law is not an artificial lifeless mechanical device jaise john austin kehte hai na law is command of the sovereign jaisa sovereign chahe waisa usko impose kar le but he said no law is not a artificial mechanical lifeless device but it has a spontaneous growth it develops in the people it develops in the society it is by product of the common consciousness of the people general spirit of the people and therefore you cannot codify it unless the law is properly developed so his approach towards codification was rather cold rather pessimistic origin of law lies in the popular spirit of the people he said and savagely termed that popular popular spirit as a foxist and this is a german word german terminology foxist so he says law develops like a language and this is a very very important point of his theory law develops like a language so savagny says that law has a national character national means not a nation in a sense that we use today but nation means more of a particular community so law has a national character and it develops like a language and uh, those who may have read the history of languages they would tell you that it takes hundreds of years and sometimes thousands of years to develop a language aapne kai dictionaries dekhi hogi oxford dictionary cambridge dictionary usme kai kai words har saal add hote jate hain so language keeps developing for hundreds of years thousands of years similarly law also keeps developing for many many years hundreds of years kyunki wo society mein develop hota hai na it is developed as per the common consciousness of the people and when it is developed as per the common consciousness of the people it develops over long period of time and since it develops like a language for over a long period of time it binds people into one single whole because of their common faith their common beliefs and their common convictions why people are bound by law because of their common faith because of because of their common beliefs because of their common convictions according to savigny law grows with the growth of the society jaise jaise society ki growth hoti jati hai law ki bhi growth hoti jati hai kyunki society complicated complicated hoti hai society dheere dheere complicated ho jati hai jatil ho jati hai society ke norms jatil ho jate hain aur wahi se fir uske liye har har jatilta ke liye ek kanun ki zarurat padti hai so it develops with the development of the society it gains its strength from the strength of the society 
and it finally dies it finally withers away as the nation loses its nationality jaise hi rashtra apni rashtriyata kho deta hai the moment nation loses its nationality law also withers away law also dies so death inevitable hai. law language customs and government have no separate existence from the people who follow them so law language law kahan se banta hai society se banta hai language how language is formed in the society customs customs kaise kahan bante hain society mein bante hain government kiske liye form hoti hai society ke liye so law language customs and government have no separate existence from the people who follow them common conviction of the people makes all these as a one single whole to jo logo ke common conviction hai jo unki common beliefs hai about the law that make these as a one single whole to language ki development ko aap dekhiye kaise develop hoti hai language लैंग्वेज की डेवलपमेंट का एक हिस्ट्री होता है अरे लैंग्वेज की डेवलपमेंट को छोड़िए लिटरेचर का हिंदी लिटरेचर के ही डेवलपमेंट के कितने सारे फेजेस हैं कई फेजेस में डेवलपमेंट हुआ है हमें तो चार फेजेस मालूम है आदिकाल भक्तिकाल रीतिकाल आधुनिक काल अब तो उत्तर आधुनिक काल की बात होती है सो सिमिलरली लॉ ऑल्सो डेवलप एंड नाउ वी आर ट्राइंग टू गो बैक इन वेदास एंड ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट वेदर एट दैट टाइम वी फाइंड सम ऑफ द रूल्स विच आर स्टिल यूज इन द मॉडर्न टाइम तो उसकी स्टडी अभी हो रही है वो अप्रोच अच्छा भी हो सकता है ऑर्गेनिक एवोल्यूशन ऑफ लॉ विद लाइफ एंड कैरेक्टर ऑफ द पीपल डेवलप्स विद एजेस तो ऑर्गेनिक डेवलपमेंट कानून का कैसे होता है विद द लाइफ एंड कैरेक्टर ऑफ द पीपल लोगों के लाइफ और कैरेक्टर से ही ऑर्गेनिक डेवलपमेंट होता है लॉ का एंड इट हैपन्स विद द एजेस एक साथ नहीं होता इट टेक लॉन्ग 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 टाइम एंड इन दिस वे इट रिसेम्बल्स लैंग्वेज क्योंकि लैंग्वेज का भी डेवलपमेंट इट हैपन्स इन एजेस इट इज नॉट हैपनिंग इन अ डे और टू और मे बी इन सम इयर्स आल्सो इट टेक्स एजेस लैंग्वेज इज डेवलप्ड इन एजेस सिमिलरली लॉ आल्सो डेवलप्स इन एजेस बिकॉज बोथ डेवलप सिमिलरली बोथ कम फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी इटसेल्फ और इन द केस ऑफ लैंग्वेज देयर कैन बी नो इंस्टेंस ऑफ रेस्ट लैंग्वेज के केस में रेस्ट नहीं होती है कंटिन्यूअस उसकी डेवलपमेंट होती रहती है सिमिलरली लॉ के केस में भी Continuous development होती है। There There is 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 always always a a movement movement। Law law language case development of law is governed by the same power of internal necessity. Why do we develop language? Because of the internal necessity. So the development of law also is governed by the same power of internal necessity as simple phenomena. I stop here. If you have any question, Rohit, may I move forward? So law grows with a nation. So law grows with a nation. Nation could be a nation also. It could be a community also. So law grows with a nation, increases with it, and dies at its dissolution. And it is a characteristic of it. So law grows in a particular society or a nation. It increases with the society or a nation, and finally it it dies also at its dissolution. जैसे ही राष्ट्र की राष्ट्रीयता समाप्त हो जाएगी जैसे उसका डिक्लाइन होगा डिसइंटीग्रेशन होगा लॉ आल्सो टाइम्स नाउ ही आल्सो गिव्स यू द स्टेजेस ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लॉ ही सेज दैट अर्ली डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लॉ इज स्पॉन्टेनियस वन अर्ली स्टेज में कस्टमरी स्टेज में लॉ स्पॉन्टेनियसली डेवलप होता है एंड देयर आफ्टर जूरिस डेवलपमेंट सेवेगनी स्टेटेड दैट इन द अर्लीएस्ट स्टेज लॉ डेवलप स्पॉन्टेनियसली क्योंकि कस्टम्स से अगर डेवलप होना है तो स्पॉन्टेनियसली डेवलप होता है हाउ इट डेवलप अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंटरनल नेसेसिटी ऑफ द कम्युनिटी बट आफ्टर द कम्युनिटी रीचेस अ सर्टन लेवल ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन कम्युनिटी सिविलाइजेशन के स्टेज पे तो पहुंचेगी ना द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ब्रांचेस ऑफ नेशनल एक्टिविटीज विच वर हिदर टू नॉट डेवलप हिदर टू डेवलपिंग स्पॉन्टेनियसली दे गेट्स बाई फर किट इन डिफरेंट ब्रांचेस to be taken up for further studies and who do that further study specialists such as jurists develop law language is developed by linguists anthropology is developed by anthropologists science is developed by scientists so society jab civilization pe pahunchti hai to different different disciplines mein different different cheeze hone lagti hai activities hone lagti law he says has to play a dual role in a society kon kon se do roles play karne hote hain law ko a regulator of general national life of the people regulator of general national life of the people and secondly it is a distinct discipline for study distinct discipline for study 
if it develops the general uh, when it uh, regulates the general life of the people it may be called the political element of law but when it is discipline of study then it is a juristic aspect of law juristic element of law and both have a significant role to play in a development of law. history of roman law furnishes a very good example of this development of law history of roman law serves as a very good illustration of this entire process how the law develops in a society and how it becomes not only the regulator of general life of the people but also it is a different discipline of study kyunki roman law ko study abhi nahi ancient time mein bhi log as a di- different discipline usko study karte but its earlier stage law is founded on a general consciousness of the people kyunki wo stage aisa hota hai jahan pe customs se aap law develop kar rahe hote hain so it is law is founded on general consciousness of the people in the earlier stage but when the law grows when the law develops it assumes the complex and technical form of law of edicts next point now sevigny was very much opposed to the codification but he was not totally against the codification as such he was only against the codification of german law maine uska reason aapko bataya he wanted that german law should not be codified on the french napoleonic code which is known as pattern at that time because he said that germany is not even united nation as of now aapko malum hai germany ka unification kitne bar hua hai how many times germany was united so two times pehla kaun sa tha sir pehla tha before the uh, first world war before the first world war yes before the first world war but can you uh, tell me the exact time no sir i think it was somewhere around 1909 or 1911 no 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 no, 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 no. it was around 18 late 60s and early 70s okay sir utna nahi pata sorry no no but apne fir bhi kafi acha attempt kiya ha so germany was then divided into several smaller states and its law was primitive in nature it was immature he said it is lacked uniformity jab aap ka desh hi divided hai country hi divided hai तो लॉ प्रिमेटिव रहेगा रहे ऐसा उसका मानना है इट विल बी इमेचोर ही से इट इज लैकिंग यूनिफॉर्मिटी क्यों पाइंड दैट जर्मन लॉ कुड बी क्वालिफाइड एट अ लेटर स्टेज वेन द यूनिफिकेशन ऑफ जर्मनी टेक्स प्लेस एंड देर विल बी वन लॉ एंड वन लैंग्वेज थ्रू आउट द कंट्री जब जर्मनी का यूनिफिकेशन हो जाएगा तब आप यहाँ पे लॉ को क्वालिफाई कीजिएगा तब हमारा एक देश होगा एक भाषा होगी हा? और एक कानून होगा जब आप, आपका देश यूनाइटेड होगा तो एक देश एक भाषा एक कानून रहे सिंस फॉक्सिस्ट दैट इज कॉमन कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ द पीपल हैड नॉट एडिक्वेटली डेवलप्ड एट दिस टाइम देर फॉर क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ जर्मनी विल हिंडर द स्पॉन्टेनियस ग्रोथ और स्पॉन्टेनियस एवोल्यूशन ऑफ लॉ he emphasized that codification of german law without having jurists of sufficient genus and adequate expertise in roman law would not serve the desired purpose as roman law forms an integral part of the german legal system at this time he said that if you want to codify the german law first you should have those people who are expert in the roman law because roman law forms the integral part ऑफ जर्मन लीगल सिस्टम और यहाँ ही उनके थ्योरी का एक पूरा बहुत बड़ा कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन है ऑन दी वन हैंड ही सेज दैट लॉ डेवलप्स इन सोसाइटी लॉ डेवलप्स इन नेशन इट इट डेवलप्स इन कम्युनिटी ऑन दी वन हैंड ही सेज दैट ऑन दी अदर ही सेज दैट रोमन लॉ फॉर्म्स द इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ जर्मन लीगल सिस्टम सिस्टम एंड डेयर फॉर क्वालिफाई द जर्मन लॉ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रोमन लॉ यू शुड हैव द एक्सपर्टीज एंड दोज पीपल हु आर हैविंग एडिक्वेट नॉलेज इन रोमन लॉ तो ये बहुत बड़ा कंट्रीब्यूशन है ही कंसिडर्ड लॉयर्स एंड जूरिस्ट एज ट्रू रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द पॉपुलर कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ द पीपल राधर देन दिस्लेचर्स वो कहता है कि लेजिस्लेचर्स का तो कोई रोल ही नहीं होता कौन रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं पीपल्स विल को लॉयर्स एंड जूरिस्ट एंड वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ लेजिस्लेचर्स लेजिस्लेचर्स रोल इज ओनली लिमिटेड टू लॉ मेकिंग प्रोसेस वो बस लॉ मेकिंग प्रोसेस को थोड़ा सा रेगुलेट करते हैं उससे ज्यादा लेजिस्लेचर का कोई रोल है नहीं दिस इज द व्यू ऑफ कार्ल वन सेविंग दिस इज दैट लॉ इज अ कंटिन्यूस एंड अनब्रेकेबल प्रोसेस मैंने आपको बताया कि लॉ एजेस में डेवलप होती है उसमें रेस्ट नहीं होता कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस है सो ही ट्रेसेस द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ लॉ फ्रॉम फॉक्सिस्ट दैट इज कॉमन कॉन्शियस ऑफ द पीपल common consciousness of the people or spirit of the people sevigny considers the growth of the law 
as a continuous process it is an unbreakable process it is bound by common cultural traditions of the people it is bound by their beliefs common beliefs common faith law has its roots in the historical processes which should constitute the subject of study of jurisprudence so common cultures common traditions of the people should constitute the subject matter of the study of jurisprudence according to sevigny codification of law may hamper its continuous growth and therefore it should be resorted to when the legal system has adequately developed or properly developed or it is properly established i'm taking break here of 5 5 minutes दोस्तों इस तरह के वीडियो को बनाने में काफी समय मेहनत और रिसोर्सेस लगता है आप अपना वेल्यूबल फीडबैक जरूर शेयर करें ताकि एबनीसियो टीम को प्रोत्साहन मिले तथा आपके द्वारा दिए गए फीडबैक पर काम करके और इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोस आप तक लाया जा सके प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड शेयर दीडियो विद नीडी वन वाइल एम्फोसाइजिंग और कॉमन कॉन्शियस ऑफ द पीपल और जनरल स्पिरिट ऑफ द पीपल एज एसेंस ऑफ लॉ से the adoption of roman law in the texture of german legal system which was more or less diffused he said in the german legal system he located foxist in the romanized german customary law to wo kehte hai ki foxist jo hai germany mein it is in the romanized german customary law and he considered roman law as an inevitable tool for the development of यूनिफाइड सिस्टम ऑफ लॉ इन जर्मनी तो रोमन लॉ को काफी इंपॉर्टेंट मानते हैं फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ यूनिफाइड जर्मन लॉ सो दैट एंड ये जल्दी जल्दी टाइम मत वेस्ट कीजिए जितना टाइम वेस्ट करोगे आपके लिए डिफिकल्ट होगा और समय भी उतना ही बर्बाद होगा अभी तक तो कुछ भी नहीं है अभी तक कुछ नहीं सो लेट एस क्विकली क्रिटिसाइज दिस थियोरी फ्रेंड्स यू नो देर आर सर्टन इनकन्सिस्टेंसी दैट यू कैन विटनेस इन दलवान से थ्योरी देर आर लॉट ऑफ इनकन्सिस्टेंसीज एक्चुअली नेशनल कैरेक्टर ऑफ लॉ but at the same time he suggested a model by which roman law can be adopted and accepted as the law of germany again he located origin of law in the foxist that is common consciousness of the people or popular spirit of the people but at the very same time he asserted that certain customary principles of roman law had universal application so he gave undue importance to roman law and that has been criticized bitterly by some jurist i am giving you some names first was econ e i c h e i c double h sorry e i c double h o r n econ basilor b e s e l o r and kirk g i e r k e when these german jurist philosophers intervened ki german law ka codification kyun nahi ho sakta hai this is not a view which is tenable the view which sevigny propounded is not very tenable and because of their intervention later on german law could be codified it could be drafted in subsequent years after the death of sevigny now second criticism it is often alleged that sevigny's theory of law is negative this theory is obscure this theory is suffering from narrow sectarian outlook ये थ्योरी जो है काफी नेगेटिव है ऑब्सक्योर है ये सेक्टेरियन आउटलुक से थोड़ा सा रखती है और ये कुछ हद तक सच भी है बिकॉज सी वेन यू से दैट लॉ इज बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द कॉमन कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ द पीपल बट प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड कॉमन कॉन्शियसनेस विल नेवर बी सेम हो सकता है क्या ऐसे एक कम्युनिटी के एक क्लास को कुछ और लॉ चाहिए होगा दूसरे क्लास को कुछ और लॉ चाहिए होगा it can never be the same kind of consciousness which people will come up with huh? sevigny was against the codification of law which we have already discussed and codification today is one of the most accepted form of modern progressive legislation codification ke bina aaj ki date mein legal reforms possible hi nahi nobody will agree that codification will hinder the growth of law koi nahi manega लीगल रिफॉर्म के लिए लीगल स्टडी होना बहुत जरूरी है ये बात मैं भी मानता हूँ लेकिन क्या आप ये कहेंगे कि अगर आप लॉ को क्वालिफाई कर देंगे तो लॉ हिंडर हो जाएगा उसकी ग्रोथ रुक जाएगी उसकी डेवलपमेंट रुक जाएगी तो बड़ी मिले दिस एंटी क्वालिफिकेशन एटीट्यूड ऑफ सेविग्नी फॉल्टेड द ग्रोथ ऑफ जर्मन लॉ फॉर सेवरल डिकेट्स एटलीस्ट फाइव डिकेट्स पॉपुलर कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ द पीपल इज द ओनली सोर्स ऑफ लॉ that is custom is the only source of law, but it is not completely true. we know that there are many sources of law judicial precedent is one source of law 
legislation is another source of law so there are various other sources of law. theory of foxist overlooks the impact of other sources of law jo maine bataya aapko legislation judicial precedent ye jo sources hain unke role ko hi khatam kar dete hain sevidhi pure theory se in the evolution of law these sources are very very important. there are many areas which would would have been left without any legal reforms without any legal rules only because no common consciousness of the people existed in those areas ab main aapko batata hu labor law jo labor law develop hua kya wo common consciousness se develop hua kya ya legal reform se develop hua aap bataiye mujhe humne bonded labor slavery in cheezon ko khatam kiya wo legal reform se khatam kiya ya common consciousness se khatam kiya abolition of child marriages कैसे खत्म हुआ कॉमन कॉन्शियसनेस से लोग उसको अपने फेवर में मानते थे क्या सो सो देर आर वेरियस एरियाज प्रोसीजरल लॉ पूरा प्रोसीजरल लॉ जो डेवलप हुआ दैट दैट वाज डेवलप्ड ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ द लीगल रिफॉर्म्स बाय द लेजिस्लेचर्स देर वाज नो कॉमन कॉन्शियसनेस इन दैट नेक्स्ट क्रिटिसिज्म Sevignis view that customs are always based on the popular consciousness of the people is also not it is not accepted slavery a custom tha ek institution tha kai log to usko uh, Aristotle जैसे लोग स्लेवरी को इंस्टीट्यूशन मान बट इज दैट ट्रू नो स्लेवरी टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स वी प्रैक्टिस बिकॉज ऑफ द सेल्फिश मोटिव ऑफ दॉमन कॉन्शियसनेस इज नॉट सॉरी कस्टम इज नॉट ऑलवेज बेस्ड ऑन द कॉमन कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ द पीपल पॉपुलर विल ऑफ द पीपल नो दैट इज नॉट करेक्ट मेनी कस्टम्स स्लेवरी का मैंने एग्जाम्पल दिया बॉन्डेड लेबर दीज कस्टम्स ओरिजिनेटेड टू अकम्पलिश द सेल्फिश इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द people who were in power they are adopted these customs are adopted because they are being blindly followed by the people ek ek bahut uh, bura custom tha china mein foot binding custom wahan pe kya hota tha ki ladkiyon ke pair bandh diye jate the for certain age so that un, unke pairon ka na development ho hi na and they should not run wo apne ghar ko chhod ke bhage na kisi aur ke sath bhag na jaye is that a good custom is that custom very righteous in nature No, it was blindly followed by the people. And these types of cu- uh, customs continued for a very long time. Not because they are righteous in nature, not because they have a support of the people, not because they have a support of the popular consciousness, but because society, some people who are in power, want to accomplish their selfish motives. Next criticism: Roscoe Pound, a sociological jurist, has criticized Sevigny's theory for his juristic pessimism. Savigny's theory hindered legal reforms and uh, modernization of law in the name of Foxist or common consciousness of the people. While criticizing the legal theory of Savigny, Roscoe Pound observed that no legal system would like to stick to the prevalent abuses and baneful customs only because people are accustomed to them. कोई चाहेगा कि हम बुरे customs को कंटिन्यू करें नहीं सिर्फ इसलिए वो भी कि पीपल आर अकस्टम टू देम दे आर डीप रूटेड नो बडी वुड लाइक टू कंटिन्यू विद दो काइंड ऑफ कस्टम्स सेविक भी देर फॉर ओवर लुक द क्रिएटिव रोल ऑफ लॉ बाय इंट्रोड्यूसिंग लीगल रिफॉर्म्स professor porkunov rightly pointed out in this regard that sevigny's theory does not determine the connection between what is national and what is universal ek aur to kehte hain कि डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लॉ इज नेशनल इज नेचर वेर एज सम कस्टमरी प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ रोमन लॉ आर यूनिवर्सल इन एप्लीकेशन तो वो वो उसके बीच ना कनेक्शन नहीं बता पा रहे दैट इज द क्रिटिसिज्म आई गिव अ पॉज हियर फॉर टू मिनट्स अगर आपको भी कुछ कहना है कोई कमेंट है आपका आई मूव फॉरवर्ड ऑल दो नेक्स्ट क्रिटिसिज्म नाउ ऑल दो सेविग्नी वॉज नॉट अगेंस्ट लेजिस्लेटिव रिफॉर्म्स by way of codification as such but his approach towards codification was rather cold and pessimistic because in his view the codification could never solve all the problems that are likely to arise in the future was such a ki codification puri problems ko to solve nahi kar sakta lekin codification na karna bhi to answer nahi hai he said that imperfect code would create more problems by perpetuating follies underlying the legal system he firmly believed that codification should be preceded by a progressive scientific study of law after taking into consideration the historical evaluation of the particular law and final criticism that sevignis foxist helped many nations to pervert it for promoting their own ideologies for example nazi twisted it say giving it a racial color agar aap ye kehte hain ki law develops in a community to wo kahenge ki hamari nazi community hai 
हम डेवलप करेंगे लॉक हमारी हमारी आर्यंस की कम्युनिटी है दैट दैट इज द दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ स्लोगन विच हिटलर आल्सो गिव मार्क्सिस्ट यूज्ड इट फॉर गिविंग इकोनॉमिक इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड इटली यूज्ड इट फॉर जस्टिफाइंग फासिस्ट आइडियोलॉजी सो जिसको जैसे यूज करने का मन किया उसने उसको वैसे ही यूज किया और उससे काफी बड़ा डिजास्टर भी हुआ वी सॉ द डिजास्टरस वर्ल्ड वॉर्स सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट थ्योरी ऑफ दिस टॉपिक हिस्टोरिकल जूरिस बाय कार्ल वॉन सेविकनी इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अनदर जूरिस फ्रॉम द सेम स्कूल दैट इज हेनरी मेन एंड लेट मी टेल यू in the beginning itself that this theory henry mains theory will look more logical wo thodi aur zyada logical lagegi aapko to wo wali theory hum next class mein karenge if you have any question you can ask me right dosto is tarah ke video ko banane mein kafi samay mehnat aur resources lagta hai aap apna valuable feedback zarur share kare taki abnisio team ko protsahan mile tatha aapke dwara diye gaye feedback par kaam karke aur informative videos aap tak laya ja sake yadi aapko yah video pasand aaya ho तो प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड शेयर द वीडियो विद नीडी वन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग वीडियोज थैंक्स अलॉट